This is an important one just because once again, we get lots of questions. In the olden days, we only looked at signal to noise ratio and, and that's effectively the amount of signal that you get on your side relative to the amount of interference or the noise in the receiver itself. Lately with LTE, you'll see two factors. The one is called RSRP, reference signal received power, or RSRQ. Um, this is because if you look at um, LTE and these signals, there's actually multiple channels, um, close to 100 channels getting transmitted next to each other. And this looks at that complete picture. So typical signal to noise is not good enough anymore. And I think these are excellent reference values. Um, so you need to get all of these, but mainly these ones if you're looking at the LTE signal. And these are indicators of what would be good, excellent, mid-cell, and edge cell. And they had some relationship, but what I do want to note is that you could get this guy, say, in, in a good value, but if you've got the RSRQ or the RSRP lower, then you actually do still have a problem. So they're not necessarily directly related. Um, and I would focus on these two, and they are directly related. So if one or both are good, you typically have got a good link.